In this video, let's look at how to remove and change a background with Affinity Designer for iPad. First of course, open Affinity Designer on your iPad. And then open the first picture you would like to change the background of. Now I'm going to get rid of that snowy sky in the background of this and replace it with quite an inappropriate picture. So go to the Commands menu and duplicate your image to start with. You can see it in the right hand side there. It's um, two backgrounds and it's the one at the top. I've just clicked on duplicate and that's what it's done. Now delete the original image. So that one that you imported, just delete that. We don't need that anymore. Using the pen tool, firstly rasterize the layer. I should say rasterize the layer first, then use the pen tool and draw around the part of the image you would like to keep. That's important and you can see I've gone right around the image including the bottom edge of the photograph. In the layers panel drag the background image into the curves layer. Now when you when you started to join all the dots around with the pen tool it created a curve layer. Now that's the one you want. It automatically creates that layer. You don't have to create it yourself. And when you've finished putting all the dots around the building here, for example, take the background image that's on the bottom and drag it into the curves layer so that the little horizontal blue bar is in the center of the curves layer and just drop it there. Now change the stroke to no color. That's fairly important. And you can see that the background layer is sitting in the curves layer and it makes it transparent. Now, go back to the new file menu and open the file you want as background. Copy it and then return to this file. Everything will be sitting there waiting for you. So just open the image you want to put in the background. Go up to the command menu and copy it and then come back to this image and paste the image into your file and move it to the position below your selected cutout. So you put it on the very bottom. It will by default go on the top, above the curves layer, but you want to drag it down to the bottom so it sits behind it. And you can see there that the rather unusual coloured sky is now behind the building. Select both the curves and background image and select the FX option. A new box will appear. So you've got both layers selected, the curves and the background image, and you've got a new box. Now what I've done is ticked on the outer glow and then to bring up the context toolbar at the bottom, you have to tap on the words outer glow in that menu. If you don't, it won't work. And there, of course, you can see I've got opacity at 100, the radius is 155.2 and intensity 50%. The blend mode is screen. And because it's an outer glow, it puts that sort of glowing pattern around the house. Now, you can use almost any of those um, layer effects there that um, suits your image. And that's about it. Finally, you can adjust the blur and other effects to create different looks. As I mentioned, I used a glow effect to place a haze around my image. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. It all helps, makes me feel better. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and find many other videos um, at that address. Well, on the channel you're watching, basically. So just click on subscribe and like right here on the channel. Thank you for watching.